Well, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is facing an impeachment trial, which could lead to his permanent removal from office. But is the impeachment retaliation for comments that Paxton made about the House Speaker? Quan Alex and Charles Adams explore the issue. The highest law enforcement officer in Texas, the state attorney general, Ken Paxton, has been impeached by the House. In fact, impeached by his own Republican brothers and sisters who were angry with him because he called the speaker and said he was intoxicated and he was drunk when he was speaking before the House and called for his resignation. And because of that, the Republicans got angry and decided to finally impeach him and they wanted to use his criminal indictments and past criminal activity to justify his impeachment. I say, Charles, to those Republicans, you hypocrites. You mean to tell me you did not impeach this man, Charles, when he was first indicted for this embezzlement and taking payoffs for this fraud that he was charged with by the government? You did not indict him with all these other things that came out about the criminal activity he was involved in, but the minute he criticizes the speaker as a Republican, now you all choose to take action. You're nothing but hypocrites. Yes, the man, in my opinion, should have been impeached, but not because he criticized one of your Republican constituents and comrades for being drunk speaking before the House. Well, there's no question question that Dade Phelan was, was appeared, at least appeared intoxicated, and we haven't heard anything about a medical issue. But I think you're regurgitating the lies that Ken Paxton has produced to try to defend himself. Oh, well, this was retaliatory. This investigation by the House has, has obtained counsel and been investigated for months on end. This has been ongoing. Now, I'll agree with you. He should have never been. He was, he's been under indictment for many, many years since his first term. He famously stole another lawyer's $1,000 pin on camera before he was even our top cop. And once a thief, always a thief, right? He's an absolute scumbag. And but we talk about all the special favors he did for cronies, but let's not forget his indictment is for misrepresenting his role in encouraging people to invest in a, a nonsense company without the appropriate license. He's always been a con artist. He's always been a liar. And this has nothing to do with Dade Phelan. It is that our top cop is a crook and it's incredible embarrassment and the Republican Party primary voters who keep pushing him in really need to look at themselves in the mirror because it's absolute idiocy. He's not someone that should be in any public but office. But Charles, why did not those Republican elected officials in the House, why didn't they take action before he criticized the Speaker? Why is it they waited for years after his indictment to do something and only when he criticized his own? They're hypocrites, they're liars, and that's why none of us can trust what's going well, on what, in I mean, Texas I don't politics. think any of us should trust the government for any damn reason, but the truth is that Paxton's criticism of feelings was a preemptive strike because he knew he is about to get impeached. Paxton's a scumbag here. Feeling might need to get some alcohol anonymous or something, but Paxton is the criminal and he needs no. to be out of office. Feeling needs to stay away from happy hour. Get him a chaperone and make sure he goes nowhere near a restaurant doing happy hour. You can watch much more of Face Off streaming Friday nights at 6.30. Just go to fox26houston.com.